Hey guys, welcome back to this Comic Rama series of going through the alphabet. Today's episode, I'm going to be focusing on Charles Gale. This is the album Consecration. I would love to talk about Charles Gale at length. This video is going to be kind of a five minute spotlight on him, but there's so much to talk about Charles Gale that I don't think this 10 minute video is enough. The type of music is not really a music that a lot of people are into. Um, the style of music is free jazz. Charles Gale was born in 1939 in Buffalo, New York. He's about 81 years old. And today I'm going to be showcasing Consecration. For me, it has been a time of consecration and kind of revitalizing and analyzing uh, my whole life. I found that about Charles Gale when I did a dive into spiritual jazz. I uh, sampled a lot of jazz music uh, that was labeled spiritual jazz. Uh, some I liked, um, a lot of it I did not like, have not resonated with me uh, because of the spiritual beliefs uh, within it. I do have some of Charles Gale's other albums um, for you to kind of take a look at. I'm going to showcase them um, right here. Um, this is the one I'm going to be focusing on today. Uh, this is from Black Saint Records. This is an Italian pressing. We got Battelle Cherry on bass. Charles Gale on tenor saxophone and bass clarinet, Michael Wimberly on drums, and William Parker on cello and violin. Charles Gale is a multi-instrumentalist. I'm gonna give you a little backstory about him. He was homeless for about 20 years and in the streets of New York, he was performing his music during that time, he adapted to a persona, um, which is now known as Streets the Clown. So he would dress up as a clown and play his music. And you can see that in this album of uh, ESB Disc. You can kind of see him there. This is the album Look Up with his trio. Uh, you could definitely um, tell from just the tracks on this album that he was influenced um, by a lot of the free jazz artists. You got Eric Dolphy and Albert Eiler mentioned on this record. And as you can tell by the names of the songs, inspired a lot by the gospel and the Bible. These are the rest of the records that I have from Charles Gale. I have the Charles Gale Quartet Daily Bread. This was also off Black Saint. Um, then he recorded Onto I Am. And then after, shortly after that, um, he recorded the Charles Gale Trio Look Up on ESP Disc. He has another album that is dedicated to John Coltrane, which I don't have. I'm hoping to acquire it at some point. Um, but on this album, Consecration, you can kind of see the tracks of the album on here. Another album that I would love to acquire as well called Repent, which was recorded before any of these albums here. I'll put the link below where you can listen to the whole album. So I wanted to introduce you guys to Charles Gale. If you're not familiar with him yet, I'll leave some samples at the end of this video. Definitely check him out. If you are into free jazz or avant-garde jazz, that type of um, music, you definitely will be in for a journey on uh, Charles Gale's records. One of the reasons why I think he's not widely known is because of his spiritual beliefs. Um, and another reason might be is because he was 
very verbal actually in his performances when he would be playing his songs um, sometimes you he would stop and kind of be preaching to the crowd um, and that's one of the things that he has kind of reflected on that he um, he accepted it but he also kind of reflected on that he, he was not really aware of the crowds he was playing to I'm gonna go ahead and leave um, some room in this video so you can kind of hear Charles Gill speak you can kind of see him perform so I'll try to put some clips of him on here as well and uh, an interesting fact about him is that he would uh, play the piano but he would play the piano blindfolded and he had this uh, perspective where if you're able to play blindfolded you're able to actually make mistakes and while you're making mistakes while you're playing he calls this term accidental music where you're actually making some accidental music and the aspect of accidental music actually becomes part of the music and you start actually understanding music more as a whole so I thought that was a really interesting uh, aspect that he thought about music well guys god bless you hope you enjoyed charles gale this weekend i'll see you on the next one be in peace with yourself be in peace with others god bless you firmes y adelante I would off I would say generally which I do say play what you see just play what you see you see an act going on play that don't think about just music and but play what you see from your heart you know if you if it's sad something sad play sad uh, if it's something with joy play that if it's something that's silly play that mm -hmm. I, you know or if it's laughable play that because sometimes he has a pet dog, and you don't see the dog. But he's a. And one day, uh, streets left uh, after the performance. He left the dog on the stage. and forgot to, bring, you know, to play. It's that kind of thing. Play that, you know. So there's no musical words to even talk about that. Uh, it's like if you see a raindrop fall on a leaf. Can you play that in your heart? That's the deal. So that's not about. It's something you learn in, in music, you, you know, it has to come from the heart or you see something sad or someone hurt, play it. Play your expression of it. And uh, that's all I do. I don't, I don't even try to talk about music. You know, just the heart. Just play from the heart. Uh, even if you never took a music lesson, just play from the heart. Mm -hmm.